A growing number of young, social media savvy activists weighing in on the fierce debate over abortion rights. We know that access to reproductive health care, including abortion, is vital to gender justice. Georgia has passed one of the most restrictive abortion policies in the country. If I am pro-life, that if I want to preserve the life of the unborn, that this is somehow a threat to their rights as an independent woman. It is an assault on the most fundamental ideal that human beings should control their own body. In the wake of the 2020 presidential election, candidates have come across various borders to distinguish their opinions regarding controversial matters in American and foreign politics. From gun control to economic policy, Democratic candidates have made their positions clear and have stood up to address the shortcomings that our country has faced in the past few years. One particular issue that has been left out in a number of political discussions this year, however, involves one of the most important discussions that have divided American politics for decades, and is playing an increasingly prominent role in the lives of Americans everywhere. As the issue widens and becomes even more polarizing, it should be more commonly addressed and should receive more attention in the upcoming policy agenda. However, when someone thinks about reproductive health, the one word that has become synonymous with such a term is abortion. This is because the media has commonly portrayed the narrative that abortion is the only reproductive rights issue that divides popular opinion, and by doing so, ignores a much wider scope of discussion. However, reproductive health is a prominent and fundamental issue in our society, and it incorporates complex aspects of physical, mental, and social health that expand far past the boundaries that an issue like abortion considers. So if it's not just abortion, then what is reproductive health? So reproductive health is a much later term. It's a more ambiguous term that means different things to different people. Some people might think abort reproductive health is another abortion clinic, while others might view reproductive health as related to reproduction and having nothing to do with abortion. In fact, reproductive health represents an overall state of well-being and refers to the diseases, disorders, and conditions that affect the functioning of the male and female reproductive systems during all stages of life. While they each have their own defined boundaries, Issues concerning birth control, STDs, and sexual education all revolve around reproductive health, and they are becoming more and more concerning with each passing day. For instance, an important matter in reproductive health is contraception, which is an essential health service that allows individuals to better plan and space their births. However, according to the Kaiser Health Survey, an estimated 18% of sexually active women ages 18 to 44 are not using contraception and are at high risk for unintended pregnancy. This leads to negative health, social, and economic outcomes for women, families, and society. Southern U.S. and particularly Georgia, um, right now are um, some of, have some of the highest HIV rates in the in the country, and um, women here are also um, disproportionately affected compared to other places in the country. And um, unfortunately, though, uh, prevention tools have not been really. Um, uh, disseminated or, or widely um, discussed among women. Additionally, issues such as the inequity of reproductive health, as well as the various factors that surround it have yet to be addressed, and they make up the important issues that have left many concerned about America's lack of commitment to preventing such issues. As many know, minority groups have commonly been put at a disadvantage in all sectors of economic and social policy. However, one of the often ignored subjects is that of reproductive health a systematic prejudice regarding access to reproductive resources has plagued low-income communities which commonly house minority groups. Sometimes it's about the difficulty in securing funds to perform expensive abortions. Other times it's about not having the resources in the local area, which means a lack of access to reproductive health necessities. Regardless, the divide in access between low-income minority groups and others is large, and it is an ongoing problem that needs to be addressed in the upcoming election. Um, there's a great wealth of research um, showing that um, individuals who are racial and ethnic minorities um, are definitely um, uh, ha bear the burden a lot of some of the most adverse sexual and reproductive health outcomes, particularly um, here in our community in the South. These health disparities can be improved by setting up centers and clinics in rural areas, as well as integrating education and awareness of the resources that might be available. This information could prove crucial to addressing the health issues in these communities. As a result, belief systems are commonly in contradiction with the law and popular opinion. 
both sides have begun protests, and we can certainly say that it is a polarizing topic that should be addressed to provide clarity on political stances regarding this measure. Basically, the public is divided. You've got a small, uh, you know, sort of hardcore who believes that abortion should be illegal under all circumstances. You've got a slightly larger but still small core that believes abortion should be legal under any circumstances. And you've got the vast majority uh, in between. Many consider the lack of education to be the key issue. Time and time again, new stories of unexpected teen pregnancies have given rise to the question that, in terms of the education that children receive in regards to sexual education, how much is enough? In general, the upcoming 2020 election is one that will shape the future of America for many years. Of the many topics that will be addressed by candidates in the upcoming months, reproductive health is one that is commonly ignored and has received little attention on the national stage. This polarized topic is an integral part of today's society, and the issues concerning it are deep and complex. We as a nation must rise, and rather than ignore this topic for any further, we must stand to address an issue whose understanding is every American's birthright.